Well, it's half an hour until the next game between uh, Vladimir Kramnik and uh, Vishwana Tananand begins at the World Chess Championship 2008. And I want to make a few remarks at the last game and show it. Uh, Kramnik again had white in the fifth game against Anand. They started with the same opening as in the third game where uh, Kramnik lost. This is a nice tactical move that is played very often. The whole variation is still uh, in theory. Here in the third game Anand invented a nice novelty with bishop b7, sacrificing the pawn on b5. In the third game Anand played bishop d6 and uh, won eventually. In the fifth game he played rook g8 and also won eventually. There followed bishop f4, bishop d6, bishop g3, f5, rook fc1, f4, bishop h4 and now Black had a beautiful move that is not seen by the computer. It's bishop e7. He tries to exchange the bishops and white has nothing better than a4. Bishop takes h4, knight takes h4. Black decided to play king e7, which is uh, difficult to say if it is bad. It opens the 8th rank for the rooks, eventually uh, trying to double the rooks on the g file. White played rook a3, a good move. Black played rook a c8. Kramnik was uh, in. Uh, he had not much time and he tried to simplify the position. He should have had uh, the rooks uh, staying on the board, but uh, due to the tri uh, time pressure, he decided to exchange them. Rook takes c8, rook takes c8. Now black has the c file, but the game is still interesting. I think white uh, has a small advantage, but it's not enough to win. Rook a1, queen c5, queen c4, queen e5, knight f3, queen f6, rook e1, and now Anand set up a beautiful trap, rook c5. Of course, if knight takes d4, rook g5, and black wins. But after b4, which was played in the game, black played the rook c3. An interesting variation is uh, knight e5, which I thought would happen in the game. Knight takes e5, rook takes e5, rook takes e5, queen takes e5, with a probable draw. But black decided to rook c3 and now a Kramnik should have played knight d2 with a uh, drawn position but uh, he fell into Anand's trap by playing knight takes uh, d4 uh, pardon I made I meant knight d2 of course uh, knight takes d4 um, queen takes d4 rook d1 and now he played the swish and sook knight f6 when after rook takes d4 knight takes g4 rook d7 check king f6 rook takes b7 black has a winning combination 
Anand played rook c1 check, pinning the white bishop, who has to play bishop f1. And now, abusing the pin with knight e3, a beautiful sacrifice, f takes e3, f takes e3, and the black pawn on e3 is unstoppable. Well, of course, uh, white can sacrifice some material by rook c7 and bishop c4, but um, he would have to sacrifice too much to stop the promotion, so he decided to resign. All in all, I think uh, Kramnik made a bad decision by playing the same opening again. And uh, today Anand will fight uh, for a draw, but with a slightly better position, and hoping to win. Well, Kramnik will have to defend, that's what I think. Kramnik should try to strike back in the seventh round, but uh, it will be difficult with two points back. In my opinion, the game, um, the match is uh, over, or at least it's very difficult for Kramnik. Thanks for watching the video.